are you more optimistic about Canada-U.S. relations? Oh, yeah, very much so. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you think about that? Um, I think now that Biden's in there, I think we're going to see some good changes. And yeah, I'm happy to see that just they've taken COVID a lot more serious. With Kamala in and the war over in Syria and Joe Biden in, yeah, yeah, I am. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden leading the country. I am more optimistic for the future between our relationship and our trade. And our, yeah. Uh, definitely. I, I think with Biden in it, uh, there's probably a better relationship now, uh, more uh, working together than there was before? Yes. <laughs> Short answer. Short answer is yes. I, I think uh, I think that lesson was learned with the uh, previous administration and um, bridges were burnt, but I think we can build up again. Oh, you mean with the new, oh, maybe, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess we are in a way with the new government there. Uh, it probably is going to be better, but time will tell. Yeah, with Biden coming in, yeah, it makes a huge difference. At least for, for us, for Canada in general, it makes a lot, a lot of difference. Uh, yes, uh, I think that um, inevit inevitably it has to reopen. They're our largest neighbor. There's, we're unable to really uh, continue the way things were beforehand without them. Um, it'll only be in a matter of time before things reopen. Um, I don't think there's anything that'll speed it up other than just case count going down and uh, people, mostly people being upset with not being able to travel. I think a lot of changes that we're actually seeing are driven by grassroots ground level people being upset with the way things are handling and they're seeing lower numbers, but they're not seeing lower restrictions. So I think that's frustrating to a lot of people. With the relations between Canada and myself being First Nation, I think what needs to be done is all the awareness that's focusing on residential school and the treatment right now, I'm really, it's really opened a lot of eyes in Canada, which I'm really happy because both my parents went to residential school and um, you know, you don't see that down south. Um, maybe they could learn a thing or two from, from the way the government is, is sort of opening their eyes. It seems like at a snail's pace. Yeah, I guess considering uh, Trudeau and Trump weren't the best of friends, I suppose it's improvement in that regard and that, uh time will tell. <laughs> yes, they seem to be uh, going in, uh, in uh, well, returning to their previous uh, state of uh, cooperation and uh, shared uh, interests uh, between us and across the world. Yeah, well, I, I didn't think they were going bad or anything. So, yeah, I, I'm quite optimistic in general. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe like a in the vaccine thingy, like they can cooperate more in like providing us more vaccine in a faster way and yeah, you know, for people to get the second dose too. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, well, if nothing else is just a, I mean, you don't know from one day to another what the Americans were going to do before. Like he was so mercurial, he'd be one day he's doing this, the next day he's changed his mind, you know. Uh, yeah, it can't be worse. I guess yes and no. I think I think our history obviously goes back pretty far, so I don't think you know one hiccup in in their side is going to really make a huge difference in our history or our our government's relationship moving forward. So I think it's uh, I think it's either going to be fine, and I think it has been fine for a long time, and it will continue to be fine for a long time. No, no. Uh, Trump was our friend, and he, and Biden stopped the pipeline. So I'm not happy with all this greening of the earth, and you know we got to go at it in a more logical manner. Um, I would like to think so with the new presidency, but it seems to be kind of the same old thing going on back and forth um, from my experience. So, But I'd like to be hopeful about that as well. <laughs> um, I don't think so. I mean, I think Keystone XL was a difficult pill to swallow. Um, I know a lot of people assume that coming in with Biden coming in, but it's still it was still pretty difficult to see that, especially when you see them... Um, you know, remo removing restrictions from, say, Russian pipelines in uh, in Europe. So difficult to see. Um, most definitely, I always dreamed of kind of going to the U.S. and stuff like that. But now that we're we're uh, more or less of a partner than a than a divided, uh, you know, two two separate countries. Where Trudeau's working with um, my Biden now, it's it's kind of a, I guess it's a benefit for for all, really. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm definitely leaning. I'm more optimistic than I was before. So, yeah, yeah. So far, it's good now as compared to the one like which they had between Trump and Trudeau. But like now, I feel like it's it's going better. So yeah, I'm optimistic about the relations. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Pre, well, post Trump. Yes, certainly. <laughs> Um, well, I think ideologically, I think we're a little bit more um, even keel now, hopefully, at least. <laughs> so, yeah. 